so this is my second video in a small gen ai project which i'm going to do okay if you have seen my previous video it was about reading pdf files this one is about reading a csv file okay and the other difference is previous video showed you how we can use langchain in this one we are going to use llama index okay so i go to my pycharm and i run a script called csv llama index.py this is built using python llama index and some vector databases so let it run in the background okay once the program loads it will say csv reader using llama index and what is the file which i'm going to read so i have this file called laptop.csv so if you look at the file it shows you the different companies like apple and hp and acer it shows you the products the type name the screen resolution the cpu types the memory the gpus and the weight and the prices so our questions will be from this file okay so this is the file which i'm going to load it's called laptop.csv all right so i come back to the application you can do one or more csv files at this point i'm just loading one so once i click on load it will start running at the same time you can load multiple files also okay and then it's asking me to enter an open ai key so you have to register in the open ai website and get the key if you want so i have used that so running that query now let me ask a question what is the information attached to the attached file okay it says the attached file contains information about various laptops including their brand model type screen size resolution because it's reading the file it's telling you what kind of information is available in the file okay and please note all the questions we are asking is in natural language natural english it's we're not doing any sql here right it's all natural and that's all coming from your gen ai okay so let me ask you what are the different laptop brands let's let me ask this question and see what happens so it says intel toshiba lenovo hp msi asus dell acer and hp do you see any apple products in this file yes there are several apple products listed in this file okay can you list some of the apple products in this file let's see what it does okay so it's listing some of the apple products which are listed see there are apple mac pro ultra book apple macbook pro all this information is coming from that file so let's say we say can can you please list them in bulleted form let's see what it does okay so it's kind of listing things in the bulleted form okay it gives you some information but then i see that it's also giving some additional intel core and all that but it's kind of listing most of your apple apple products okay so let's uh, let's go to that file again and see what else we can ask okay so let's do a data filtering we'll go to let's say dell and let's talk about let's do a sort okay and sort with the price let's say largest to smallest so the largest dell laptop price is 365 and let's see if it answers that question okay which one is dell's most expensive is call it product saying xps 2250 which is actually wrong okay i don't know why saying that but that's not the case okay so i just wanted to show you that you know sometimes it it's a hit and a miss sometimes it works fine and sometimes it doesn't read that properly but that's because the code which i have written is very simple and on the llm which i'm using is also very simple and it's not a paid version it's a completely free version right so this is just to show you the possibility that how we can enable these kind of things uh, for our customers now you may ask me why am i showing all you 
this information in the you know, Oracle channel. See, look at it this way. Everybody is moving into generative AI. Even Oracle is moving into generative AI. But how? So as of now, the ERP products uh, generate data. Right? The ERP, we configure the ERP system as a transactional system, but it generates data, so much data that it keeps uh, giving us a lot of information. Right? But then how is that information to be retrieved and how is that information to be presented? We have already have a lot of concepts like reporting and things like that. This is on top of that. People can ask questions in you know natural language, English, get information. And this kind of Gen AI even connects with uh, your database. And Oracle, see, normally what happens is Oracle doesn't allow us to you know connect to their database. We just use their reports and analytics and you know create a data model and things like that in Fusion, right? But in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, they have given us some options where files can be exported from ERP. You can host them on the cloud compute instances and put them in the storage. And then you know oh, there is an OCI data science uh, framework where these files can be read and such uh, AI questions can be created, natural language process questions can be created. And in simple words, data can be extracted from Oracle Fusion and they can be answered or questioned and answered in simple English language. That's what we are getting into. And all, all this, I think down the line, even within Fusion, these things will start uh, start getting integrated. That's what I think. Okay, From our side, we should be prepared uh, to handle such kind of things. Whenever something like that gets added on, we need to be ready to implement that for our customers. And even today, even today, I do this, but I do it on a non-production scale. I use a lot of FBDI files, which they have loaded, get some insights, you know, like they would have loaded during the project implementation, customers loaded invoices and you know, customers, end customers. And then that information can be utilized to do things. Either you can predict, okay, what kind of, uh, what kind of purchase will happen down the line. Okay, that prediction models can be created. And the second thing is you can also try to determine, uh, okay, which customer bought what kind of uh, product, what is the revenue generated out of it and things like that. So this is all very analytical. This is all very, you know, it provides you a lot of insights. And uh, these Gen AI tools like Bank Chain and Llama Index, which are written on top of Python, they will help us read that data and answer questions. And it can be like plain English language. And I think down the line, they may be adding other languages too. But right now, it's all works better in English. But again, you need to have a full-blown production uh, system because not something simple which I'm running on my local laptop, something, you know, production scale. That will definitely get you better answers. Okay, just wanted to share this. Thank you so much for your time.